Okay, here we have a Panasonic KX-TGA470S. Pretty cool phone. Um, some of the buttons aren't working that great on this thing, so we're going to open this up and clean out the dial board. I've already removed the battery cover, so we can just remove the two screws here at the bottom. Not sure maybe if this volume control thing is, is causing this not to come out. I don't know what's going on here. But this is not budging. Okay, yeah, it's a much smaller speaker than I would have expected for the sound these things put out. Okay, well, let's remove the board. Oh, that's wonderful. It was a stinking ridiculous call. Should have recorded it. Anyways, oops, keep moving, removing these charge contacts here. Okay, and looks like the board is. The receiver capture, rather, is stuck up here. Let's remove that. And, okay. This isn't all that dirty. I'm a little bit surprised it's not working as well as it should be. That looks fine. Well, we'll clean the board off. And hopefully that will solve the problem. So we're going to take a small cloth here, and we're going to take some of this stuff, and just wipe down the board. Okay, that's good enough. Let's put this back together and see if it's working okay now.
Well, actually, while I have this apart, I wonder if I would have just... Yeah, you know what? Since I already have this apart, I might as well just wash it as well. Probably faster than trying to clean it while it's together. Okay, I'm not quite too sure how this thing works. off all these parts. And we'll be back. Okay, these parts have all been cleaned and we're ready to put it back together. So, we will start with the um, some water remnants on that. Okay, start with the um, navigational button. Put this in place. And so we got some water drops on the screen. Let's get rid of that. Okay, and we'll put the buttons back in place. And now we'll put the board back in place. Contacts look fairly clean, so I'm just going to leave those alone for now. Okay, that's that. So now, looks like this. Enjoy this stuff very well. Jeez. Looks like this just kind of sits over here. Like that. And that we'll put in in a minute. And this. Um, I think that goes in like that. Yeah, okay. this up. Hopefully I never have to open that again because that was quite a nuisance to get open. I do have the clips. I gotta clean the clips. They're kind of 
nasty. All right, so let's see here. We got torque. Huh. Buttons are about the same. Like I said, this is not. They're not bad. They're just not. 100%. Oh well, it's good enough. Um. I have to say, these are really put out a good volume for that size speaker. Good evening. We put our business know how to work to help yours succeed. People's United Bank NA. What know how can do? It's not bad at all. Um. I think I'm really going to like these phones. I like the thicker size too. Yeah, it's nice. All right, so um, since that didn't really clean up all that well, I don't think I'm gonna bother disassembling these other two. There's just no need for it. I'll clean them assembled, and that's gonna be it. Um, the next video, of this system will be uh, trying it out and comparing it to the Uniden um, cell link system. Now, I don't know if the base rings on this one. But I can already tell I think I'm going to like this better as far as the cell phone area goes just because the ringtones on these handsets alone are blaring loud compared to that of the unit N. So, um, that's going to wrap this video and uh, that's it. We'll have more on these very soon. No, actually that wasn't it. I forgot to put these screws back in. Okay, now it's, that's it.